In 1870s America, two respected paleontologists, Othniel Marsh and Edward Cope, start as friends collaborating on fossil discoveries. But 20 years later, they're bitter enemies dynamiting each other's dig sites, stealing fossils, and bribing workers. Hey, I'm Michael from Hoodie History, and today I'm digging into the Bone Wars, when dinosaur hunting turned into the Wild West's strangest conflict. Marsh from Yale and Cope from Philadelphia started as colleagues in the 1860s. Both were wealthy and obsessed with fossils. Initially, they even named species after each other. But their friendship died in 1870 when Cope showed Marsh his Elasmosaurus reconstruction. Marsh pointed out Cope had put the head on the wrong end. Humiliated, Cope tried to buy up every copy of his published paper. They hired fossil hunters who carried rifles for rival paleontologists ontologists as much as hostile Native Americans. They spied on each other's expeditions, bribed workers, and used dynamite to destroy bone beds rather than let rivals access them. Cope's team even once shipped plain rocks instead of fossils to Marsh's lab. Marsh had government backing through the US Geological Survey, while Cope burned through his family's fortune. Both men raced to publish new species, often with incomplete evidence. They accused each other of stealing fossils and falsifying data. The rivalry consumed their fortunes and reputations. Newspapers loved the drama, dubbing it the Bone Wars, and covering each development like a sporting event. And did you know that Cope was so obsessed with beating Marsh that he arranged for his own brain to be preserved after death, hoping to prove it was larger than his rivals? Talk about big-headedness. But their rivalry led to discovery of over 130 dinosaur species, including Triceratops, Stegosaurus, and Allosaurus. Their war made American paleontology world famous and filled museums with incredible specimens. The Bone Wars show how personal rivalry can drive scientific progress in the most destructive way possible. Thanks for watching. Follow me at Hoodie History for more fascinating stories from the past.